But I could stand up here and talk for the next half hour just preparing for this message because I have preached this message before. But God is telling me that not only inside but outside should hear it more and more again. So every time God tells me to prepare one message before I get here, he said, no, you do what I ask you to do and you will be blessed. Yeah, take your time, God. Take your time. So this, this, this message, I'm not going to uh, read the entire chapter, the chapter 11 of the Corinthians, but it's a blessing within itself. He give all the glory to the Lord. Amen. Not to man, but everything is glory to God. And then, I'm just going to read that fourth verse. God is going to speak to us from that fourth verse of the 11th chapter, 2 Corinthians. He said, if he that cometh preaches another Jesus, yeah, yeah. whom we have not preached, or yeah. uh, if he received another spirit, which ye have not received, yeah. or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, you might well bear with him. Yeah. Other words, he's saying that if you hear another Jesus, if you hear something that makes you feel good, you might be living with him, but you're not blessed. You might think you're blessed, but you're not. Amen. Amen. We have so many Christians in this world today, they're all saved. I'm going to repeat, they're all saved. They're on their way to heaven. But they are useful while they're here on earth. That's right. That's right. The only reason why they are not fully accepting what Christ did for them on the cross. Amen. You can uh, be given different ways that people tell you, if you do this and do that and do this, God's going to bless you. Only one way that God will bless you. And that by lifting up his son called Jesus. Because it says, if I be lifted up, that's what it says. I'll draw all men unto that's me. That's right, that's right. But too many, I, I hate to sound like a doomsday preacher, but too many of us that have been called, saved, to preach to another Jesus. Yeah, yeah. The world is confused now because we're preaching another Jesus. We have killing in every parts of the world. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. You also have floods in many states that have not flooded before. We have fires in many states that have never burned before. That's right. That's right. In fact, we live in, in pearless time. Yes, we are. Now, how do I know that? Because God's Word tells us that we live in pearless times. And I, I don't want to think it's coming from me, but it's coming from the Word of God. Take your time, God. Take your time. Because as I check the Word of God it tells me here, very clearly, it says that, uh, see, what do I want now? I think I want something else. So just give it time. Take your time, give God. Time. Yeah, we'll get it. Take your time. Take your time. In other words, uh, what we have here. Now, God don't want to go that right now at the present time. He's telling them to do something else. I have to do what he says. He says the main reason this world is so sinful and full of hate is that too many so-called, help me Holy Ghost, preachers of the gospel are preaching another Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Or they're preaching no Jesus at all. False prophets are everywhere. It's in fact, they birth daily. The end is near. Preachers that they are celebrates, not men and women of the gospel. We have guards with fallenness around. We have yeah, yeah, airplanes, That's limousines. Right. That's right. That's right. And people next door are starving are on the way to hell. Yeah. Lord have mercy. We must wake up, as old people say, and smell the coffee. Because the Word of God says this will not change until the house of God changes. That's why a fuel will find a way. 
I know that uh, God has blessed many of us to stand behind this sacred desk. Yes, he has. The word of God. Yes, he has. Yes, but he has. we are playing God too cheaply. God is just a word that we hear, and we do not fear him and honor him like we should. And not, not talk about being, being afraid of him, but we must reverend him. Because he is one God, one faith, and one baptism. But we live in the world now where you cannot call on his name. I think I told you before, a high school coach was shut down because he was holding prayer before practice. Something's wrong when you cannot pray. Something's wrong when you cannot uh, mention God in your activity. Time is running out. And I don't think God is going to put up with us much longer. I hate to say this, but uh, uh, time is short. Brothers, times are here. Men love us of themselves. Lord have mercy. Covenants, truth breakers, liars, gossipers, incontent. Covenants. I go on and on and on. But I say these things because many of us that are born again, children of God, saved, but still we have those things within our sinful nature. And all the way that we can remove those things is through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And Paul doing this lesson here, talk about another Jesus, verse 4. Paul was concerned with some who attempted to change or dilute the gospel of Jesus Christ. It was important to Paul so soon after Jesus had personally been here on earth that the gospel be not changed. But how much more important is now since uh, he had been and gone on that years have passed that we need now to make sure that the picture of Jesus Christ is given to the world. In other words, uh, we should not be preaching another Jesus. That's only one Jesus. But too many of us now are preaching motivational, prosperity, gospel, which is another Jesus. In other words, now help me, Holy Ghost, because uh, God is telling me that the, uh, the world needs to hear this. Because we are confused. We, we are fighting each other. We fight denominations. Yeah. Yeah. There are preachers saying that all Catholics are on their way to hell. Yeah. Yeah. Some are saying all Presbyterians are on their way to hell. Yeah. Some are saying Baptists are not what they should be. We go on and on and on. The world is confused. But there's only one gospel. Yeah. And only one spirit. Yeah. And only one Jesus. So I don't care what you call your denomination. If you look, accept Jesus as your Savior. That was born to a virgin Mary, lived and died, and now seated around the hand of God. You can call yourself what you want to call yourself. Amen. But make sure it's not another Jesus. Amen. See, the danger of another Jesus is real today. We see it all around us. We are, 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 somehow we are, uh, uh, I don't know, we, we, we're living in a day that wasn't like Noah. Noah preached for over 100 years. Yeah, and no one yeah. shape of one person. So, yeah. so don't feel bad what's going on in the world today. Remember now, he's preached for 100 years, and on the one person, of course, his family was saved, but he was the only one that found favor with God. So God does not need a lot, but he needs one man to stand up and say that God is the only way. Yeah. But we have deceitful workers transforming themselves yeah. into apostles of Christ. Everybody wants to be an apostle. Everybody yeah, wants to be a yeah, bishop. That's right. Why can't you just be what God called you to be? That's a man and woman of God. That's right. That's right. I'm talking about preaching another Jesus. We, 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 we're hung up on titles now. Yes, we I'm are. Dr. So and so. I'm Bishop So and so. I'm Apostle So and so. And people around you are dying and going to hell because you're preaching another Jesus. This includes many areas of. Religious life. In other words, in the world today, Mark 13, 22, he said, But false Christ and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even their leader. In other words, we would be very careful whom we listen to. And that's why it's in very important for pastors today to make sure they know who's standing in this secret desk. Yeah. Everybody come back and preach and make you feel good or not living the life they should live. And they're not changing souls because they're too concerned about themselves. 
there's a trend going on in the world today. I'm going to remind you of Mount Zion. It's all through the South now. That it, when they have a, they cut revivals for three days, you know that. Yeah. Not yeah. only that, the pastor now, you got to pay the preacher to come in and preach revival, and you got to pay the pastor to be like, he's not of that revival. Lord have mercy. And I ask for this right. Because we are preaching another Jesus. Other words, if, if, the, if the pastor comes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you got to pay him extra Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, same time you pray the preacher. Right. Churches are going broke. People are going to hell. All because, I hate to say this, we have preachers that do not love people. They only love themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That be Holy Ghost. You're all right, dog. I, I, right. I, I'm just preaching God's word because uh, 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 the, the verse 4 tell, told us that. It told us right in verse 4. I, I, I don't have to keep repeating it. Tell the truth. Verse 4, if I come preaching another Jesus, a preach another gospel, preach another spirit, then it's not the spirit of God. Yeah, tell the truth. Even Satan himself transformed into the angel of light. Second Corinthians 2 now say, even him who coming is after the working of Satan with all power and sign and line wonders. Oh, they can make you feel good. They might even save from soul himself. But they're preaching another Jesus. What are you saying? Paul desired that minds should not be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ Jesus. In other words, uh, 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 we, we, we try to make this gospel so hard no one can understand, but you that preaching it. You gotta keep it simple. Not wanting to be in other words, uh, Christ served, not wanting to be served, but Paul kept the gospel very simple. Not using words they could not understand. Not using, uh, we have so many now that get up in the pulpit that think they use big words that makes them yeah. look good and feel yeah. good. That's right, that's right. But we're not saving souls. That's right, that's right. And, and let me tell you, it's enough lost souls to go around. You don't have to worry about what the preacher down the street is doing, but the one they do what you're called to do. Yeah. And God will bless you. Yeah. But I'm saying we're preaching another Jesus. How can we know if one is preaching another Jesus? I'm glad you asked me. First is that Jesus, other than preached by the apostle. He must be preached today as doing and said those things he did while he was here on earth. What did he do? When he came, he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Right. No man come to yeah. the Father but right. by me. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus preached, we must preach the same thing. He, he also raised the dead. We have power to raise the dead. He spit and made clay, opened blind eyes. Touch dead men in a castle and he came to life. We have the same power today if you're following the Christ that I know. Because when Christ died on that cross, he dropped the head and socket of his soul and said, The friend is, the devil had to do it. Right. He yeah. never lost everything. Let me go back. In, 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 in the Garden of Eden, we lost dominion over everything. Man had power. He named everything that just and God gave the dominion over everything. Everything that in the sea, in the air, in land. But when the first man sinned, he lost the dominion over everything. And that dominion was lost for thousands of years. But I'm so glad when he came and put on flesh himself. Yeah. And walked this earth and showed that he could not sin. Died. And when he died and defeated that devil, we had the dominion back. Because yeah. the race I have all power in the earth. But he gave us that power. Yeah. Now, let me tell you something. We, we have the power to do it ourselves. Stop praying to ask God to heal you. Because he said you're already healed. I'm trying to help somebody here today. Stop asking God to do something. He's giving us power to do it ourselves. When he, when, he, when, he, when, he, when, he, when he cuts that tree, he said that. Why did he cuss the tree? To show his side you have power. If you speak to that mouth, it will move in the ocean. He said, if I speak, he's not going to speak for it. If we have something like speak it yourself, you speak and run it out. We always say, God, please bless me. You're already blessed. That's Amen. right. That's right. Oh, hold me happy, Holy Ghost. Amen. Second, another Christ that just prayed by Jesus and his disciples. Yeah. Uh, they do not preach another gospel other than that given in the blessed word of God. Many are doing just that. By preaching another Jesus. In other words, other signs to look for and unmasking the false prophets. Many false prophets are here today, brothers. Do they show their compassion 
and love of Jesus, no they don't. They, they all this thing about is themselves. Every time the church door open, they try to figure out how much money can they put in their own pocket. Yeah, yeah. Every Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah. But God will take care of it if you do what he asks you to do. But John 13, 35 said by this work, thou shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one from another. Yeah. And the sons who class are talking about God's love and the love of God. If you do not love God, you cannot understand God's love. Yeah, the, 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 when he died, that, that, that Christ gave us something that fulfilled all the law. He's to love the neighbor as you love thyself. Yes. Love blocks out all self-control. Yes, love blocks out all disobedience. That's right. Love blocks out all of hate and yeah. jealousy. Yeah. Love blocks out envy. Yeah. Love blocks out the covenants. I could go on and on and on. Paul is saying I will glory in my weakness. Why? Because do they glory in Christ and their own personal weakness? Because 2 Corinthians 1, 12, 15 said, Of such a one will I glory yet of myself. I will not glory, but what? But in, in him, in all my for I will glory. What are you trying to say? I, I don't care what I'm going through right now because when I'm weak, I know I'm strong. Yeah. And when I don't have what I need, God is going to supply no need. Yeah. If I'm sick, I'm still well because yeah. God has told me that I'm healed. Yeah. In other words, I'm going to glory in Christ. If I'm down, I glory in Him. If I'm up, I'm going to glory in Him. If I have wants, I'm going to glory in Him. Give God the glory. Yeah. That's why we yeah. cannot just glory when we feel like glorifying yeah. God. Yeah. We got to praise God when we don't feel like praying. Yeah. Yeah. If you're going through a hell right now, praise yourself out of hell. Praise God. Give Him the glory. He's all going to have the power to take you out of what you're in. Help me, Holy Ghost. We are talking about another Jesus, another spirit, and another gospel. Now, do they make merchandise of the gospel? Yes, I'm sure, sorry to say they do. Uh, we have mega churches now. Yeah. Large day care centers, uh, yes. selling of books, and uh, all the other merchandising, but not saving souls. Uh, we 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 merchandise. Uh, if you buy, if you buy this cloth. Nothing wrong with the cloth, but the cloth is not what gets your prayers to God. You can stand in the middle of hell and pray, and God's going to hear your prayer if you're a child of God. Yeah, that's right. But that's I don't right. have to buy a cloth to hang on my head when I pray. I don't have to buy a handkerchief. Hey, I can. Pray for my own self on my own hand. Merchandise the gospel. That's right. That's right. Getting rich, but souls are still dying, going there. That's another Jesus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And do, right. do the merch yes, the merchandise and, and do covenants show that what with fiend words make uh, merchandise of, of you. Uh, in other words, whose judgment now of all long time linger. Other words, uh, 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 and, and there's no doubt. Uh, damnation in Christ. We think bigger is better. And none of Jesus is not in. Yeah, we have fiend words. We use words making people feel good. But we do not know Jesus. Perverse things to draw away the disciples after them. In other words, I'm, in, in, in another Jesus, there, there's no right or wrong. All about self. Whatever you do, I'll make you feel good. You can throw your own stuff up by your boot trap. You go to church, you hear nothing about Jesus. You hear nothing about sin. Uh, sin, the ways of sin is death. If you sin, you're going to die. Uh, I'm not talking about dying physically. You die spiritually. And if you did spiritually, you don't go to the world whatsoever. Jesus is the only true and living way. There is no way to improve on him. Oh Lord, let, 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 let us lift up on, on the real Jesus Christ. Yes. Carry his name. Let his love be shown to everybody. Yes. Because you can improve on his love. You can improve on his compassion. You can improve on his healing. You can improve on his saving power. Right. In other words, he is the only one. Yes. There's no other way. He said, I'm the way, the truth, the life. No man come yes. to the Father, yes. but yes. by me. That's right. All we need is to tell the world what the real Jesus did. When he walked this earth, tell him that he fed the hungry. Yeah. Tell him that he raised the dead. Yeah. Tell him that he went to set lift to those out of his bondage. Yeah. Tell him that he walked on water. Tell him that he turned water into wine. Yeah. Tell him, tell him whatever he 
can't get on earth. Oh, Lord, thank you. But Jesus did so many things. I don't have enough book of paper to write it in. But, but God is still in control of it. Yes, he is. He was God in the flesh. Yes. I say he was God in the flesh. I don't care what you think. If you don't believe who's God in the flesh, you're just working and doing for nothing. Yes. He is God. Because he said he, in the beginning was the word, the word was God, and the word was God. Yes. So he is Jesus. Yes, he is. Another Jesus, but not that no one that says anything about that other Jesus unless you tell him who he is. Yes. Only Jesus in his simplicity and beauty can meet the needs of our world today. Yes. The world is in a mess today because the world does not know who Jesus is. That's right, that's the right. The world is confused. We think that bigger sanctuary we're doing. Not bigger daycare centers, not bigger sanctuaries, not no books and tapes, no, no, but a little more of Jesus. Yeah. Not no merchandise and the gospel, but you need just a little more of Jesus. Yeah. I hope somebody here may be in the world and get crying, sir, uh, we will see Jesus. I said, crying, sir, we will see Jesus. Yeah. Uh, sir, let us see Jesus, the healer. Let us see Jesus, the Savior. Let us see Jesus, the keeper. Let us see Jesus, the provider. Jesus, the lover. Let us see Jesus, the cry. Although by the one, 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 one may sometimes wonder if, if Jesus would walk into a modern day church with a day, if they know who he was talking about. Because we call him everything but the child of God. We think he's like a genie in a bottle. We want some rub it, he'll give it to us. Yeah, you don't have to do it, but you live the life. God will tell you who he is. Yeah. And he will feed you when you're hungry. Yes, he will. He will close you when you think yes, he will. It. I don't know about you, but Jesus, I'm talking about Jesus Christ, the one that brought him back to heaven. Today, what we all need is just a little more Jesus. Yeah, Jesus, the crucified Christ. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, there's something about that name. Master, Savior, Jesus, like the fragrant after the rain. Yeah. Jesus, 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 let all the heavens and earth proclaim. Yeah. Kings and kings will pass away, but there's something about that name. Yeah. For the life prayer, yeah. Jesus, 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 is all about the Lord. We can know it. He must keep telling the world that he came in the first walk of this earth. Died three days, got up. I'm talking about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The one they call the lily of the valley. Jesus, they call him the rose of shine. He lived. I say he lived. Jesus is a book. He rock, the rock in a prayer line. We live in the middle of the wind. Jesus, bread when you're hungry. Jesus, water when you're thirsty. Jesus, joy when you're sad. I'm talking about Jesus. Not about Jesus. The one that came down to forty two generations. Hey! 
good Jesus. That's all right. Somebody say I'm greatly blessed. I'm greatly blessed. Highly faithful. Highly faithful. All the cause. All the cause. I know the real Jesus. I know the real Jesus. Is he all right, church? Yeah. Yeah. Serve him. Yeah. Believe that he died. Yeah. Believe that he stayed in the grave. Yeah. He went to the he didn't go to hell. He went to the gates of hell and set those captive that were free. Set those free. Which they was in paradise. But now when you die, you don't go to paradise. You go directly to be with him or you go to hell. One or two places. And no purgatory. No hole in hell. May we stand to our feet. Should be praying now. Make sure that if there's some lost souls here that come to be with the Lord. The doors of the church is now open. You come give me a hand, you must give your heart to God. You know one present here this morning to step forward.
we go bow now, you're going to bow then, but you're coming out of hell. Bow to Jesus and go back to hell for eternity. So now is the day of salvation. It's too late to be playing church. Amen. God is warning us every time we see a fire or a flood or a devil burn or a flood of the fort. That's God right. is trying to tell us. That's right. That's right. Now I don't mind saying this on TV because I check it out for myself. Remember when that flood they had down in Louisiana, I mean in the lower part of Louisiana? It was a bad flood. That was, both the blacks got brought out down there. That's right. And I do know that a lot of them wanted to go to Baton Rouge. They would not let them come there. Now Baton Rouge is trying to find some place to go. You cannot play with God. Amen. God, I'm not, I'm not judging God, but God will catch up with you. So you bother with Jesus right now. I'm saying this to do it. If you sin it now, he knows about it. So you might as well get yourself right with God so you receive all this blessing. You, you're not going to hell, but you don't receive his blessing like you should receive it. Shut up, David. I pray that everyone has their response.